to my channel. My name is Sonia and you're watching Domestic Diva. Today I'm in my kitchen and for St. Patrick's Day I have decided to make a Irish apple cake with custard sauce. I have never made this before. Uh, I have done some research and it seems to be a popular recipe for St. Patrick's Day. Let me know down in the comments if you know different. Uh, this video is also in collaboration with my good friend Celine from the Recep uh, Recipe Therapist and I will have her channel linked down below so make sure after you're done watching my video you go check out and see all sorts of stuff that she will be making or what she will be making for her video. I can't wait to see her recipes are amazing her uh, instructions are amazing and um, if you're not following her and you like cooking then you're missing out make sure you press her a subscribe button and follow along with all of her recipes so without further ado I'm going to get started so for this cake you will need a pan I am using a Wilton pan uh, it's a 10 by 3 and I got it in Michaels then and I have already greased it up so it's ready to go I have also preheated my oven to 375 and then you will need uh, you will need three cups of flour then you will need one tablespoon of baking powder as well as half a teaspoon of salt then quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg allspice and uh, ground ginger so ground ginger nutmeg and allspice and then you are going to need three quarters of a cup of unsalted cold butter then you're gonna need one cup of sugar plus two tablespoons of sugar so sep separated then you're gonna need about a pound of granny smith apples one and a half pounds of granny smith apples uh, peeled cored and sliced and then uh, sliced again so they're about this size I have about five apples here then you're gonna need three quarters of a cup of milk two eggs one teaspoon of vanilla and then half a teaspoon of cinnamon so now we're gonna get started and for that you are going to need a larger bowl and in it you will place uh, so this is for the cake so you will place uh, you will whisk together flour baking powder and salt nutmeg and allspice and ginger and you are going to whisk this for about 20 seconds so now I'm go going to uh, put all the pieces of butter in here and I'm going to rub and incorporate them with the flour and you want to do this until it resembles crumbs fine crumbs okay so that's good and I'm going to add my apples into it and I'm just going to make sure that they're well incorporated okay I'm gonna put this aside so in the smaller bowl I am going to whisk together milk eggs and then vanilla I just remembered I forgot to add some sugar so I'm going to incorporate this with sugar now would have not been a very sweet cake have I forgot if I would have forgotten the sugar okay so now I'm going to add my milk my vanilla and the two eggs okay you're supposed to mix it until it's well combined so now I'm going to pour it into my dry mixture and toss it with my hand 
until it's combined but not over mixed okay I think this is pretty good and now it's time to add it to your pan Maybe I should be afraid of hurting you but you can't break my heart it's already broken from the start now you can and you want to spread it into even layers layer that looks pretty good and now I'm going to mix my cinnamon with my sugar the two tablespoons of sugar and now I'm going to sprinkle it all over this to me would almost be a great recipe for fall as well Okay, and now it goes into the oven until uh, for, uh, for about 45 to 50 minutes until the toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. So now we're going to make a custard sauce and for that you need one and a half cup of whole milk, pinch of salt, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla, six egg yolks, and half a cup of sugar so the first thing is I'm going to add I'm using the saucepan it's a non-stick saucepan I think it's by Jamie Oliver and I'm going to add my milk and a pinch of salt and then I'm going to bring it to a gentle roll and uh, not a full boil and while milk is uh, getting ready, I'm just gonna keep an eye on and mix it, mix it okay, uh, frequently. But I'm going to beat my eggs and my sugar until fluffy. So my eggs are ready, and now I'm going to add them to the milk mixture. So my milk is just about ready and now I'm going to turn my heat down and I'm going to add about half of the milk mixture into my egg while mixing and now I'm going to add this into the here And I'm gonna cook this until it thickens about three to four minutes. And you have to mix constantly. So the sauce is almost done. And I'm going to transfer it to a glass container immediately and let it cool down. As you can see, it's quite a bit thicker than what it was. I'm going to add my vanilla. And I'm just going to mix it for about 20 seconds just to make sure that it all the parts cool down and you don't want to overcook the sauce over or overheat the sauce because you don't want the eggs to curl up or curdle okay now I'm going to cover it with plastic wrap and you want to press the wrap down to go right up against it so that way you won't get the little skin form up there and I'm gonna let it cool and wait for the cake to be done. So it is done now. I'm going to let it cool before I cut it and serve it with custard. So here it is. And I'm going to cut into it. There we go, and that looks beautiful. You can see the chunks of apple in it. The dough is nice and springy. And now I'm going to add a little bit of custard over it. And I'm going to enjoy it with a cup of coffee. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, the cake tastes absolutely delicious. 
and I want to th thank Celine for doing this collaboration with me and I can't wait to see what you made and try your recipe as well. So until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful day and don't forget, if you're not subscribed, I would love for you to join my YouTube family. Bye.